Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are still in shock after one of the craziest promo Fridays that I have ever seen inside of FIFA 22 with Foot Birthday Team Number 2 being an absolutely crazy day for so many reasons. I want to take a look at today in the video at how the market is actually crashing because of all of the stuff that EA released content-wise yesterday with the Foot Birthday Team 2 cards that are in packs um, and with all of the, actually the mess-ups that happened from EA Sports yesterday with the Foot Birthday they swaps redeemable tokens for the uh, for foot birthday team one pack all of the glitching that was happened yesterday with the packs that were giving out players from team one and team two we'll talk about that whole compensation situation and also the foot foundations basically the swap token pack that they put in the store um, the combination of that with all of the glitching and that big mess up from EA Sports with that swaps pack, I really think is causing a lot of this market to go down, along with how actually insane this team of Foot Birthday Team 2 is. So I want to take a look at that, the SBC content, and of course, look into today on Saturday because we have more icon moments coming on the market. And as we have talked, the previous icon moments set, as we expected, I guess I should say, those cards are down really, really bad. So I'm going to take a look at the whole market today. And just talk all the craziness that happened from yesterday for foot birthday team number two. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look first at what kind of prices are down. Like what in the world is going on with this market right now? Because we have an insane team of promo cards that has been released, you know, front and headlined by the only man who we were so hyped to get a promo card this year, Danny Alves, who's like 900,000 coins right now at the moment. First card in FIFA 22 was just literally added um, a couple days ago into the game. He's got a promo card. He's here. He doesn't even have a gold card that is on the market yet. I think it's showing up on Footbin. These Foot Birthday 2 cards are actually really, really rare, and there's so much hype for them. They're fluctuating on the market like crazy already. We've seen so many cards bounce up and down in price because especially the top tier ones are really really rare right for Mino, Danny Alves, Fakir, Lucas Paqueta I'm even watching this Danny Alves right now to see if I can get him on a low price because I think that he's going to go back up and get pretty rare at some point because EA been running these late light, night lightning rounds that is baking, making these cards drop a little bit in price but they're still so incredibly rare on the market so I'm not sure if I'm going to get this Danny Alves kind of like 907 is my top dollar if I'm being honest I know it's a weird number but I'm going to stop bidding there because I think I might be able to sell that card for more uh, into today on Saturday. But uh, really, the reason why I think you're seeing a lot of cards drop on the market is, yes, because of the insane cards and the insane, te insane team that is in packs. But take a look at this gold Mbappe, right? We use we often use like gold Mbappe or these gold high tier gold meta players that everybody loves and uses year round as kind of like a baseline for how the market is doing. Mbappe is down like 60,000 coins. He was 700K yesterday. Mbappe is down big time. And as we take a look at the rest of the market for the out of pack special cards, this is what you see, right? And now you might be asking, Nate, why is this stuff down in price? I really think it comes down to two different things. The thing number one that caused a lot of this panic yesterday, which I can't actually ac access the story now because I have some cards in on a sign from player picks, but I really think that what is causing this market to drop a lot at the moment is the Foot's birthday swaps token pack that was made available in the store yesterday. This pack right here, the Foot Birthday Foundation pack, which gives you 185 plus player, 581 plus players, one draft token, a foot birthday swap token, and the player pick. This pack being 100,000 coins and being basically, it's, it's basically like an 85 plus star pack is what it really is. It's an 85 plus star pack and it contains a draft token and a foot birthday swap token. So many people get these packs because they want the swap token whether they pay the 500 fifa points which actually is really good value and so smart by ea sports to make this 500 fifa points because normally a 100k pack is 2000 fifa points so you feel like you're getting a really good deal here um but they also made it 100,000 coins so i think there's a combination of a lot of people opening this with fifa points which is bringing a lot of supply to the market because this is a really good pack and also, at the same time, people are opening it with coins, which 100,000 coins, that's a lot of coin drain. You're spending 100K for this pack, and most people are not making it back. And it's, that's, it's just that amount of coin loss 
and all the supply on the market for all of these higher rated, especially we look at fodder, right? Every single person that opened one of these packs yesterday, and there's a huge draw to open this pack because there's a foot birthday swap token inside of it, and it's a pretty good pack itself, right? You're like, okay, 100,000 coins, I'm gonna get an 85 rated card back, a draft token, a swap token, and five 81 plus players. You know, I might be able to make my, my money back on this or at least get close, and especially for being the swap token that was in there, like this is really, really exciting and a pack that a lot of people will want to go out and buy because it has that swap token. And on top of that, yesterday, everybody in the first hour and a half was trying to get swap tokens as fast as they could to get into the foot birthday swaps section right here and open this pack, which of course was glitched and was giving players from team one and team two and because of that, it was just creating this whole big frenzy where people were selling cards to get coins to open that Foot Foundations pack to get another swap token because, you know, as before yesterday's content, there were only 12 swap tokens released. So if you had missed a couple, like myself included, I wasn't even able to do this pack yesterday because I didn't have enough tokens. But everybody was just in this frenzy to get this pack and to try to open it before they they fixed the issue. Now, if you don't know what issue I'm talking about, I'm gonna talk through it right now really fast because it was a crazy, crazy happening. Basically, the foot birthday team one pack and player pick, which the player pick wasn't even able to be claimed yet. There weren't enough tokens to be released to be redeeming it. But basically, this foot birthday team one pack, which is the 10 uh, foot birthday swap option, 10 token option, uh, had been temporarily removed because they were giving out players from team one and team two you can see like a lot of these guys in the comments right some people are packing danny alves right some people down here packing uh some players from team one there were there were some people that were packing players from team one like matt here got himself cristiano ronaldo right like that's nuts some people were getting danny alves some people were getting fakirs a lot of people were getting jiku right or and diddy or silas and yes it was a really good idea to open this pack before EA tweeted this out, because what happened is when they tweeted this out, basically an hour and a half after the content drop came out, they they pulled these packs out, they fixed them, and then put them back. So right now, they're not glitched. You can't do this anymore, uh, because as again, it says they've been restored. But the big news here, and this is why everybody was in that frenzy to get these packs opened, was because impacted players will receive the corrected packs in the coming days. So if you opened one of these packs while it was glitched and you packed yourself a player from team two when it was supposed to be a player from team one, you're gonna be getting another pack of the exact same uh, a team one, which you should have actually gotten, right? So people should have only gotten team one cards. Now they're gonna get another pack that will have just a team one player in it since this is fixed. So, so many people were trying to kind of exploit this pack glitch, I guess you could say. Um, and now the only thing that remains to be a bit unsure and unclear about this is, are they going to compensate people, everybody that opened this pack, or are they just gonna compensate people that packed a foot birthday team two card? Because if you open this and got a team one item, because it was giving out team one and team two, but most of most likely team two, like a lot of Yuri Bear Chiches, again, Jiku, like we said, was getting packed so much. Um, it says in EA's message that uh, since some players were not receiving the intended rewards, if you received a team one player, it sounds like EA maybe is not going to give you a new pack back. Um, even though technically you opened it in the time frame where the issue was was happening, if that makes sense, right? So that's the kind of thing that we're not really sure about at the moment. Is is EA going to compensate for the people who got a Team 1 player out of that pack, even though at the same time it was giving out Team 2 players, which in my opinion, I think they should compensate those people because those people had a different pack weight from what the pack actually was should have been giving out since there was Team 2 players being, you know, a part of that being given out, I think they should re they should compensate everybody, not just the people that got team two players. Uh, but that's going to be a big market impact later on this week when they do go ahead and give those packs back. So there's a lot of people that were in that big frenzy, right? That's what I'm going to call it, like a frenzy. Everybody was running to try to get that pack and get it done 
right away in the first like 30, 40, 50 minutes of the content yesterday. And that's why you saw all of these prices drop down a lot in value. Even some of the foot birthday team one cards, Suarez was down to like 900 K flat almost on the PlayStation. Look at this price, right? Of course he was 1.1 mil dropped all the way down to 910 is where I saw him at his lowest. And he's kind of rebounded back to around a million coins where he is now, of course, out of packs. But if you take a look at the rest of the market, there's some cards that haven't rebounded back. Even somebody's road to the finals that, that got upgraded early yesterday, Saudi Omani is 1.2 mil. Yesterday, he was 1.5 and literally just has been dropping down since the content drop. Uh, and after, after all the craziness took place yesterday on the market, Kempembe is down 755. I was trying to flip some of him. Renato Sanchez is 1.1 million coins. He is down a lot. We could take a look through almost every single promo team and I could point out cards to you that are down a lot in price. Lacroix was like 780. He's now down to, to or sorry, 880. He's now down like 100,000 coins. Uh, this Chalmeni with the release of Paqueta and all the cards in yesterday's insane foot birthday team two squad, he's down uh, to 930K, right? This Konate was 400,000 coins. He's now 320 in price. There, price is everywhere are down because of what happened yesterday. Hakimi is down because of Danny Alves. Uh, Conte is even down, which is crazy. That team of the year, Conte, basically the best uh, midfielder in the game is down in price. And Kuku is down. You know, uh, Koulibaly was down so much because of the DeVry SBC. This Serge Gnabry headliner is down. So many cards on this market and on this game are down bad in price. Pogba was just 750, 780. He's now up back up to 845. Winter wildcards, Neymar is down. Everywhere you look, and from what I see, there's some cards that have bounced back up, but even on some of your gold cards, look at gold Messi. Gold Messi's 112K. Yesterday, he was 138,000 coins. Again, I really think that all of the su uh, supply from that foot birthday foundations pack, giving the swap token and just all of the frenzy and everybody was trying to get swap tokens as fast as they could to try to open that team one pack. And just the, de just, just the demand of trying to get those swap tokens in general is what was really pulling people to that part of the market yesterday. And I think that's why you saw so much panic selling. Now, with all that supply yesterday as well, you saw a lot of the impacts cards, uh, like these icon moments are down so, so bad in value as well. Now, we're expecting more icon moments today. That's kind of besides the point. But, you know, it, it was just an absolutely crazy day on the market yesterday. It was honestly not the easiest day to make coins. There was some panic selling that was profitable. Uh, like the number one card that everybody's probably looking at right now in the trading scene is this Denayer, right? Denayer got the upgrade. They upgraded the road to the finals early yesterday. This guy was down at like 130, 140K. He's now over 200,000 coins because of the insane upgrade that he got. Gareth Bale was like 370. And then when, when the content drop happened and all the craziness started to happen, he dropped all the way down to like 330. And I believe now he's back up to 380. Wow. Yeah. See, Gareth Bale's back up to 370, 380 after having a pretty big price swing. Taliso as well, right? Was down at like 170. Now he's back up at like 210. The market yesterday was just wild, but it really feels like the market lost coins yesterday and the market was devalued. I don't expect cards like, like the Konate that we were just looking at, right? I don't expect this Konate card who was 400,000 coins and is now 320K or something like that. Maybe 330, still a pretty rare card, 320, 330, 340. I don't expect these cards to really rebound back at all, back to where their prices were, because it seems like with this promo and with the leaked SBCs that we have, like the Ramos, uh, the Quaresma, five-star, five-star SBC that is now leaked uh, as of yesterday from Foot Sheriff, it really seems like they're cranking up the content as a part of Foot Birthday Team number two, and that is probably, probably going to keep the whole market kind of at a subdued level if the content is going to be really, really good with the player SBCs, with the packs that they're going to be releasing, some of the gamble packs, maybe if they do party bags and stuff like that. Those are all things that we're going to be watching out for and looking for in the coming days. As it seems like this, they're going more all out with foot birthday team number two. So that's kind of why I think the market dropped a lot yesterday. I honestly think it's going to drop some more today. There's some cards that, yes, we did make some coins yesterday. I bought a Dybala at 1.5, sold it at 169. I bought some Mares at 700,000 coins, sold them at 780. Uh, but I also tried to flip some Kempembe's, right? And I, I bought these at like 750 and I'm really selling them for like break even because I'm not making any coins on this card. I have a couple icon moments that I'm trying to trade with Essien and Del Piero because their prices have dropped off a lot. Just trying to make a quick flip out of it. 
I just don't really feel like the market's going to rebound back up a ton today um, if the content, you know, is still pretty good, which I think it is going to be. So with all, you know, this is also to mention that EA is running the constant lightning rounds again with the week two of this promo. I mean, right now it is again, two, 3 a.m. UK time. And we have the 86 plus star lightning round packs that are just rolling through the store. Now, of course, they're not all getting bought, um, but this is just more supply, more supply, more supply for the market. After a day, there was already so many packs were being opened with that foundations pack. SBC fodder is in the mud. It, it is in the mud. Take a look at how cheap some of these cards are. 86s are 12,000 coins. 84s are 3K. 85s are 7,000 coins. 88 rated cards are like 24 or 25,000 coins a piece. I think that this weekend, maybe even today, um, is going to be a great time if you have not already to buy a couple of these, put them in the club, and honestly, just hold them for this next week because it seems like that the content this next week might be turning up a little bit. I'm not saying that I think that these 88 rated cards are going to go back to like 35 or 40,000 coins where they were a couple weeks ago. You know, maybe they go back to like 33, 34K, but 25K to 34K, that's a pretty solid rise on these cards. Um, as it sounds like we're going to have better SBCs this week. That's what it seems that EA is kind of the message they're portraying. Of course, it is a little bit of a gamble. We could have more supply today. We don't know what EA is going to do. They're going to run more lightning rounds, right? Um, so I just think this weekend is going to be a good time once again to do a club stock, right? I don't like to invest big time on fodder. I just think this is going to be a good time to buy into a few of these cards buy a Cruz, buy a Suarez, buy a Sterling, put it on your transfer list or put it in your club and SBC comes out. You can either do that SBC for cheaper since you bought the cards before they maybe go up or, you know, you can uh, all the, obviously sell those cards for the profit and take the profit on those. So these cards are just down in general from where they have been recently. Uh, we also, I mean, don't forget about this. We have a potential player of the month Mbappe SBC uh, that could be coming out in the next week that would be a huge sbc uh for a lot that a lot of people would want to complete of course because it's mbappe and everybody loves mbappe in this game so yeah the team that they released yesterday i think was a huge w again we haven't even rightfully looked at this squad and i haven't talked to you through it i'll do that here really fast um, I mean, I think this team is just, it's a nine out of 10 for me. The only thing that it maybe would be missing is like that absolute elite tier player like we had last week from Ronaldo. But how often do we see players like that in a promo? Not very often, but Dybala, Lucas Paqueta, Fakir, Firmino, um, of course, Danny Alves. I mean, Silas, Neuer. This team is unreal. It really is. We only have like one fodder card. Berchiche, I wouldn't even consider. I guess he kind of is fodder, but he's still a usable item as a cheap five-star skill move left back in La Liga. Really good card. But this team is just, it's so cracked. And that is also why I think you're seeing part of the market drop off because people just want to sell these cards that they have, you know, and use these brand new items that are just unbelievable and i also think that's why part of your icon moments market is down i mean take again look, take a look at wayne rooney he's like 1.6 million coins look at this drop off from yesterday he was two mil he was consistently selling at two million coins he's down four hundred thousand coins on the market today uh you know you'll take a look at some of these really elite tier icons pushkas is 6.8 mil and what was he yesterday he was 8.3 he was 8.3. He's down 1.4, 1.5 almost million coins in a day on the PlayStation market. Now, of course, heading into like Saturday content today, we have new icon moments that are going to be dropping on the game. Basically, we expect to see the rest of the icon moments released in the game today. So that's, of course, a big factor for a lot of these icon moments cards is they're going to there's going to be brand new ones that are released today. Uh, and that's going to create 1.46 for Schweinsteiger. Nah, man, there's no way. Like, okay, I, I think I have to buy that. I think I have to buy that because that's like literally 600K down from where he was. And maybe I'll be able to sell that at like 1.6 million coins today or something like that because that that is just, that's so cheap. Like I, I, I can't at least think that somebody's going to wake up today on Saturday and going to want to try the Schweinsteiger card. Who is it actually basically about 1.6 million coins right now? Okay, I don't feel too bad about that buy. I will take that. But anyways, 
these these icon moments cards are going to be a very interesting watch because there's going to be brand new ones that come out today and people have been scared of course about new ones coming out how it's going to impact the old icon moments all i will say is it's going to be a great day to trade with these cards they're going to fluctuate a ton uh the brand new ones are going to be super mega rare just like these were last week uh but one thing is already you you see these cards that are already on the market for the icon moments there's already kind of like a price point set for some of these items because they've been on the market for a week. And I think that will help some of the brand new icon moments today come onto the market and kind of get down to prices that are like more believable right away uh, because you already have some moments on the market that have kind of set like a threshold or set, I guess you could say, like a constant uh, for what people would expect to pay for a certain kind of card like that. So that is one of the things that I would say to watch out for on the market today is more icon moments, movements, more supply. Uh, a player SBC today on Saturday, we've had two, we actually have had three player SBCs now that have been leaked. Quaresma from yesterday was leaked. Uh, five star, five star, that'd be pretty cool. Of course, the Sergio Ramos um, has been leaked as well. And yeah, Ricardo Quaresma right here, the main man, of course, with the five star skill is going to get that five star weak foot boost. I don't know if that's going to be coming like today. Again, we still have the Coquelin name that's being thrown around as well. I think we would get a player SBC today, though, as they've kind of continued the uh, streak of just about a player SBC every single day. So that would be something that I would watch out for as a part of the game today as well. But it, it's just wild right now. It is really just wild. You can trade with these foot birthday cards. One thing that I'll say is with the foot birthday team twos, a lot of these elite tier cards like Dybala, uh, Danny Alves, Fakir, and Roberto Firmino. Just, I think it's a combination of hype and also, uh, wow, this Dybala is rebounding back up right now, man. Like he was literally just 1.45, and I was looking at potentially getting one of these for a flip. Uh, these guys are so rare; they're incredibly rare. That's one thing that I've noticed, and not not saying it's really, really surprising to me. Maybe just a little bit surprising. Uh, but these guys are actually tremendously rare on the market, as, as you see here. Like, how many pages do we have? We have like four pages of Dybala. Um, that's that's on a compare price as well. Let me just do this right here and show you how many pages we have. We have one, two, three pages. Not even three full pages of Dybala on the market. It's crazy. Uh, Danny Alves as well is so, 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 so rare. And I know it's nighttime and that makes a bit of a difference. But these cards just have hype. They just have hype. And they, like, they, they fluctuate around because people want to try these. And they want to give these cards a shot. Uh, Danny Alves is in like 915. There's so much hype for this guy. There's so much hype for for Fakir. It's it's just wild to watch these guys move around on the market. So I would imagine that there's going to be more market movements today on a lot of cards. If you time things right, you'll be able to make some coins for sure. Uh, like again, I'm watching this Dybala because I flipped one earlier yesterday. He is incredibly, incredibly rare. And so many people want to try him out. So that's why I'm taking a look at this card. Could he go to like 1.5 or 1.6? Uh, he could, ooh, there's a lot of overnights here at like 1.4, 1.5, but there's not that many. So if I can snag one of these Dybalas at like 1.45 or below, then I will definitely think about it. I might have to snag one on bid here because he's starting to get very, very rare. And I think in the next hour or two, he's going to jump up. But these cards just have a ton of hype, right? And that's also why you're seeing the market drop at the moment is because so many people are excited for these brand new cards. Like this draw Felix was 580k yesterday. Right now he is 470. Yes, he's down 100,000 coins because of Fakir, right? You're going to sell this card to get Fakir. Absolutely. Five star skills, four star weak foot on Fakir. Like, what? Um, actually, is, is Fakir 5'5? Five five? Did I mess that up? No, he's five star skills, four star weak foot. But that's again just this whole promo with the cards they released are nuts. Hopefully, the SBC content throughout this week, week continues to be top tier. And uh, it kind of goes along with the cards that are in packs and is really, really, really good. I, that, that's the number one thing that we need to see this week um, is, is really top tier SBC content on this game. In my opinion, that's what we need to see. So I'm going to continue watching the market. There's just so much going on right now. It's crazy. If you lost coins yesterday, it is what it is. We'll bounce back. There's going to be plenty more opportunities and fluctuations this next week, um, especially around some of the SBCs that could potentially come out because there are some big names. So that's kind of what's going on right now with the market boys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it. Tell me down below what you think about Foot Birthday. I know we didn't even talk about the DeVry SBC, but honestly, the DeVry SBC is not bad. It's a good price. Five-star skill center back, Syria. It's a W for a Syria team, in my opinion. The Lamella objective, 
is not the greatest. I don't think that is, that objective is really that hot, but it is what it is. I wish they would have given him five star skills. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, just let me know what you think down in the comments about this vote birthday team number two promo and how it started for you so far. And of course, if you're new, give the channel a subscription. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.